Today it's a bit windy and wavy here in southern Cyprus, uh, therefore I'm not gonna go out uh, with the foil, also because uh, my ladder won't stay in place with the waves. But um, you probably know Gwen, Le, Le Tutu, <laughs> I hope I pronounced uh, the surname correctly. He's one, if not, uh, he's one of the best pump foiler in the world and probably is the best uh, uh, content creator on pump foiling. And uh, if I developed this technique that I'm using now, if I was able to come through the dock, it's just because uh, I've been watching his videos, but, but through a different lens. I watched them super carefully. I slowed them down. I watched them over and over again until I could figure out uh, the exact technique that he's using. And it's what I'm gonna do now in this video. I want to uh, analyze exactly every single step of the technique that is doing to be so good and so efficient while pumping. I'm pretty sure that if you're watching my videos, you, uh, you've already seen uh, hundreds of times this video. Anyway, if I was able to come back to the dock, it's just because uh, after having uh, that epiphany, uh, after uh, seeing that uh, guy on the skateboard, I watched this video very carefully, like I will do on this video, until uh, I studied and uh, I broke down his exact technique. So I want to explain, uh, I want to explain you his technique uh, by breaking it down into three parts. So first of all, I, I want to point out that uh, why, I'm, why am I doing this video? Not because I'm better than him, of course not. I'm not better than him uh, at pumping, I'm not better than him at explaining things. But uh, the thing is that uh, he's a pro, I'm not. So I can look at his technique from uh, a beginner point of view. And uh, with this, I think that uh, I can better explain it uh, to a beginner. Because uh, he, I, I believe that uh, he is doing it uh, um, in a natural way. So the movement is, is implanted in his brain, so it's harder for him to explain it. And it's easier maybe for me to explain it because I'm just learning it. So with that said, let's go with the, the three parts. The first part is the position of the board. You will probably see at the beginning of the video, he is a little bit low on the mast and he's a little bit, a little bit slower. But uh, he gains speed again, and then he is much higher on the mast, and he's faster and more efficient, and he's using less energy. So it's very, very important to stay high on the mast. Then you see that uh, his pumps are not. Uh, the amplitude is not is not very high. Of course, it all depends uh, uh, on your foil, but uh, you don't really need a, a, a big amplitude if you have a big foil. It's just a waste of energy. And to, to decrease the amplitude, you need uh, to not push too much on the board when you go down. Then, his position on the board. First of all, the feet are shoulder width apart and the feet placement on the board uh, is that the back foot is not so exactly on top of the mast. I would say that it is uh, between the mast and the front wing here okay then his knees go from completely extended to bend in uh, this uh, half squat movement and the arms 
the arm swings are the arm swing is like a every second pump because one pump the arms goes up and uh, the second pump the arms goes up but uh, at the back to be more efficient because otherwise you are waving the arms uh, uh, like a bird and it's not efficient because uh, um, you cannot uh, uh, wave at the same cadence uh, uh, that you're pumping. Anyway, the second, the third thing is uh, the technique itself. So we can see that uh, starting from uh, when the board is uh, at its lowest, he's, uh, he, he has like the, the, his knees bent. Then what he does is that he lifts itself, himself, like if he wants to grab something up here. Imagine that you have to grab a fruit on a branch. So you need, you need to, to really lift yourself and lift your hands to be able to reach this fruit up here, okay? If you imagine, if you imagine it uh, this way and you visualize yourself, yourself uh, doing it on top of the board, you will really notice the difference. You really feel that the board is uh, rising much more than what it used to. Then once uh, he lifts himself to maximize the rise of the board, of the foil, he bend his knees before the board is horizontal. This way he, he can maximize the rise of the board. Look uh, how, how high he is on the mast. The front, wiz, the front wing is almost breaking the surface. And then at this point, he uses uh, uh, the fact that he has uh, his knees bent to gain momentum, to increase his momentum. But uh, he is not pushing. You know why he is gaining so much speed? You know why he is able to glide so much? Not because he is pushing, but because he is projected forward. He is not straight on the board. He is projected forward. So the board is gliding, he is not stalling. And uh, he is super efficient this way. Just because he, he is projected forward. He's projected forward when the board is going down and uh, he transfer his weight to the back foot when he wants the board to rise again. So to maximize the momentum and to gain even more speed, he's leaning forward he he's, he simply transferred uh, his weight his weight on the front foot, and then on this part of the movement. So uh, when the board is back uh, low and horizontal, he can straighten his legs again, because when the board when the foil is in this position, you can really uh, press on it and it won't sink because, because it's flat, because the foil is flat. If the board is pointing down and the foil is pointing down and you press too much, the board will sink. And if you press when the board is pointing up, the board will stall. But when the board is horizontal and the foil is horizontal, you can press. But he's not really pressing, he's simply straightening his legs again for the next pump. Boom. Reach the branch, transfer the weight forward, bend the knees, and straighten the legs again. Boom, 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 boom. 
don't forget the arm movement. If you notice, when he, he stops, when he stops moving the arms, he loses speed. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope that uh, I was clear and that you can uh, use uh, the thing that I said on your next session. So once again, reach the branch, bend your knees, transfer the weight. You see, the weight is not anymore on the back foot, he's on the front foot, but he's not pressing. He's just leaning forward. He's just projected forward because he wants to glide, to maximize the glide. And then he straightens the legs when the board is horizontal. And once again, he reaches the branch. It's simple, really. Reach the branch, bend the knees, transfer the weight, lean forward. It's not hard. And while doing so, you need to add this arm movement. But uh, if you imagine to reach the branch, it's gonna be quite uh, uh, natural. Because you reach the branch, and then of course your arms will go down, and instead of, letting, uh, instead of simply letting your arms drop, you push them forward so that they will help you a little bit on the next pump. Of course, when, when your arms will do this movement, you will be a little bit more efficient than when the arms will go backwards because you will have a more, uh, you will be able to lift yourself more from the board. So the board will rise a little bit more. But again, it's just a matter of, of, pra of practice and finding uh, the right uh, balance. See, it's easy. Once the, the movement is implanted in your brain, it's a natural movement, it's like working for him. And uh, I want uh, this, I, I want this uh, movement to become natural for you as well. Because it's such an amazing sport. It, it's so, really, it, it opens so many opportunities of exploring the nature by being connected with it. And it's so green and natural because you are not using any power. You are using just your body. And, you're, and you don't even need the, the wind. You don't even need to carry anything. You, know, you don't need a boat, you don't need waves. It's just magic. You cannot go on forever, of course. It's tiring, you need to, get, to be a little, a little bit fit. You need to do cardio if you want to improve also uh, the duration of your lounge. But uh, really, please keep going. <laughs> keep trying. Don't give up because this is what you miss if you give up. You miss freedom. Bye.